Have you ever seen a tire fire? Once one of those things starts, it is nearly impossible to put out, and the pollution from all of that burning rubber is devastating. Well, the potential of a tire fire on Albuquerque Southwest Mesa has state and Bernalillo County officials very concerned. Tonight, Kim Hollins on special assignment at what may be New Mexico's biggest illegal dump ever. It's bullshit. They're trying to get me. A.B. Swanson doesn't like prying eyes. I carry my pistol in my right hand. The 65-year-old wants to be left alone. That's why he lives in the middle of nowhere on this dusty plateau southwest of Albuquerque. Because I don't have none of these bastards around me. So you can imagine his reaction when the state and county environment folks came knocking about two and a half years ago. They say Swanson has been hiding a massive tire dump on his 40-acre property. You really get a good look at the problem from Sky News 13. The county estimates this could be the biggest illegal stash in the state. There are tires dumped alongside his property line in Arroyos. And the biggest concern? The state says hundreds of them are submerged in the Rio Puerco. It's just a, a violation of local and state law. Um, you know, there are laws regulating scrap tires and how they should be hauled and disposed of. The county got an $8,000 grant to see how big of a problem this is, what impact it's having on the land, and the best way to clean it up. The study concluded there are at least 380,000 tires on Swanson's property. But because so many are underwater, that estimate might be conservative. So where did they all come from? Swanson admits people pay him to unload their used tires. I, I, I charge them 25 cents. I'm only using a tire. tire. One tire. One tire, 25 cents. At the dump, they charge them dollars. Andy says he has no plans to slow down. I'll use every tire I got here plus more. You gonna keep taking them in? Well, when I need it. Swanson says he has two uses for the tires. First, he's building a rubber tire fence around his 40 acres to keep people from stealing his stuff. I'm missing three semi-trucks, a farm tractor, two trailers, and $12,000 worth of steel. He says when he bought the property in the mid-2000s, the zoning department said he could build a fence. I told them what I was going to do, and they said, we don't care what you do out here. Swanson says he's also putting tires in the arroyos and against the banks near the water for erosion control. Tires are just kind of dumped willy-nilly, and they needed to be a little more symmetrical with permits. They said lots of things, don't they? Well, the court had a say. Last year, it ordered that Swanson apply for permits and submit an engineer-approved plan to the state to prove beneficial use of the tires. He didn't do that, so now he's out of time. But the state doesn't have the money to clean it up and put a lien on the land. It would cost a million dollars, roughly speaking, to clean up all these tires. And what's right? your budget? My annual budget is about $3 million. So that means I've got, you know, what programs and services and, you know, staff and everything do I have to sacrifice in order to clean up this one problem on this one property? Swanson says he will restructure his fence and pull the tires out of the water. Oh, I'm going to get them out. Now I'm going to take them out. But he stands firm that he doesn't need permits to use the tires. In fact, he has bigger plans for more tires. I'm going to fill that up with sand. Including a horse corral and a horse racetrack. On special assignment, Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. Well, the county says it does plan to ask the state for money to help clean up all those tires, but the details, the specifics, no word on them, when or how or anything like that yet.